Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, go to number6withcheese.com this week and we got free shipping for you. If you're here for a food review, we're gonna give you a food review. And today, local Chicago, Wrigleyville, we're going to Houndstooth Saloon, a bar, Corey, that we both know, uh, specializes in 40 ounces. Uh, today, we're not getting those. We're getting their smash burger, uh, their award-winning smash burger. Uh, so very excited. This thing with a side was only $10. That's also like, if you're from this area, that's like kind of unheard of to get a huge burger and a side for only 10 bucks. Uh, so guys, come along. Come to Wrigleyville. It's sunny. It's the summer. Things are good. Let's go. guys a couple of the award-winning houndstooth saloon burgers acquired in that bag jump cut should we tell him to like this video oh yeah I forgot last time all right um hello welcome to food review I don't know five fifty four thousand uh, this is another Corey Wagner second angle all right let's see what we got I like when burgers come in tinfoil I don't know what it is about it but I dig it let's open it up and see what it is Boom, bun like a wrinkled old man's face. I still respect it. It's nice and soft. Let's lift. Oh, that's not lifting because the cheese is so on there. It's singed. It's singed on there. This is the smash burger looking all smashed up. We got onions and oh, we're going to get some tears from people. Just ask no tomatoes. They don't spit on your food anymore. I don't care what you think. And then we got some nice uh, little red onions. There's a little thing of lettuce. Underneath that, we got some pickles. And then that must be the Black Betty sauce. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And that, my friends, is a Houndstooth Award winning Smash Burger. Man, Black Betty made a mess. Oh, Black Betty. That's one of those songs you don't need to know the lyrics to it, and you can just do that, and people go, oh, yeah, I know that song. I think that is the lyrics. I think it's like Bam Balam. Yeah. Can I have my food? Yes, sir. Jesus. You have no patience? <laughs> Shawnee couldn't, hungry! Couldn't wait a second? No, not, have you ever seen me be patient for food? Uh -huh. Shawnee's uh -huh. getting blood sugars low. Oh, dude, I got hush puppies. Yeah, I saw that. They look like uh, cow Left them in for a while, huh? <laughs> They're a little too, um, I'll let you guys. Hey, Houndstooth, are those supposed to be that Black Betty? Yikes, dude. Houndstooth, off to a bad start, I'd say. That is way too, but you know. For a second, show off the secondaries. Here's oh. the uh, fire fries. Now, those are actually. Yeah, let me, let me help you there. Those look, I really messed those up. Those are looking good. And it's not your fault. You didn't. Ask him to burn them. <laughs> That's true. I didn't say put any... super well done, please. When they said special requests, I said normal. It didn't take all her artistry to burn foods. We can all do that. This looks very basic, but I'm hoping it tastes good. It won some sort of an award. You say it looks basic? Yeah, kind of. Right? I literally was, I'm going to wait until I taste it, but uh -huh. I want to be like, did this win the award for being the most basic <laughs> burger of all time? It looks basic, but yeah. hey, t it's all in the taste, bro. You can look normal and be delicious. Look at you, you know? Look at just the sheer level of veggies going on I'm right just here. Just brushed right over that sick burn I just threw on I'm you. I'm just, you, you know, need some uh, Vaseline therapy. for that burn up. Therapy. All right, the $10 burger plus a side from Houndstooth. I suggest the 40, this is the food. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's damn good. It tastes way better than it looks. It is basic, but like, basic is good. Okay. All you really need is red onions. I love. A smash burger is always great to me. Perfect bun, mm -hmm. not taking up too much space. And then if you just have that with a good sauce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It really brings it all together. This is a damn good burger. I really like that it was like, you know, I was, I was being negative. And I'm not afraid to retract those statements, or at least admit, you're, you jumped the gun a little bit two minutes ago, Sean. You're back to reality. This is a good burger. That's how I am with every frat person I've ever met in my life. <laughs> I judge frats, I talk smack about frats, I say they date rape all the time, that's their only sole purpose. Oh my god. And going to college is to find people to date rape like that one swimmer guy. <laughs> but then everyone I've met, you included, has been awesome and super nice to me. Dude, one-on-ones with Kappa Kappa Gamma, I was the first one there. All right, let's, uh, I don't know what sauce this is, I'm just gonna dip it right in. Oh, didn't know we were this close to the train. This sauce is amazing. Is it? Yeah. Uh, how much was this? For the burger and a side, it was $10 even. No, that's a damn good price. I know. And we do get a lot of $10 burgers on here. That's like the average burger price. But we never order sides unless they force us. So with sauce, 
or I mean with sides, yeah. that's a hell of a price. It really is. This is just a really refreshing like lunch burger to me. Like this is a good mm. burger just to pick up and slam and you don't feel terrible. Like mine is about 75% of this iceberg lettuce and for some reason I don't really mind. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a refreshing little addition. But the one thing I like about iceberg, mm -hmm. it goes bad quickly and if you get bad iceberg, it's like trash. Yeah. This is a good iceberg. And it, good iceberg adds a crunch. Yep. And I love the crunch. You know the institution to make the iceberg lettuce on the burger really pop and really work they built their whole business on it was Wendy's that in the squares huh yeah and also their never frozen beef is probably more what they put their on their back not the lettuce but they've always been an iceberg lettuce on the burger chain I and thought all rest uh, fast maybe, foodies maybe it more so they don't it's not shredded mmm you know everybody else is like McDonald's like, everyone's shredding their lettuce mm -hmm. for the most part but there's such a crunch in it Wendy's really winning like a big iceberg crunch lettuce. Also, uh, shredded is what people have been calling you as of late. <laughs> it was like one guy. I'm mm. I'm really nervous to try these. I'm not gonna. Yeah, it. but I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna tell you to smell my ball, but this is the most burnt smelling appetizer. Yeah, I'm good then. All right, you know I can't not I'm try it. Oh God, it tastes burnt. It's so. I mean, I can't even get my teeth through it. I mean, you did. Okay, I barely did. <laughs> I'd be like, if you just looked at me and said, I'm, I can't even wear sunglasses. <laughs> like, they're on your face, bro. Oh, dumbass. Um, those are a zero. Have some of these. I thought you'd never ask. Oh man, they're like, these are like the double fried fries. Oh, they they do feel a little different. Oh, they're so good, dude. These are really good. Oh my, mm, they're spicy. Oh, Fire fries. Yeah. Oh wow, what a re. Oh, those are what a rebound from whatever that those dust lint piles that I was yeah, eating, bro. Oh my god, it's like somebody swiffered under their couch and then fried it up. Yeah, that, that looked horrible. <laughs> those are so good. Those are a five. That is a five fry appetizer. Yeah. You should have put some of those on your burger. Oh my god, I should have. Can I have a couple? Absolutely. Everybody always wants us to share foods. They're probably nutting themselves. Yeah, I right know, now. right? Ooh, these do have a good kick. There's, it's such a good kick. Oh my god, houndstooth. You gotta sell a burger with these on it. Oh yeah, I got one like or two bites left. I pull a fry on here. Oh, that's so good, dude. Oh my god, tell people to do that. Or maybe they're all like, mm. oh, everyone here does it already. Those are some of my favorite fries in Chicago. 100%. I don't know what the hell they're doing with those hush puppies. They're gonna see this video and apologize to me. <laughs> Damn, dude, those fries in that burger were... I don't know, am I allowed wow. to rate that with the fries? <laughs> <laughs> right. Because if it's with the hush puppies, you guys are gonna get a sad score. Well, I would say we usually don't rate the sides. Yeah. Unless it's like, like, not that it comes automatically with the meal, if it's like integral to the meal. Yeah, that's just I don't know if after 2,000 videos you forgot how the show worked. <laughs> I was literally about to say, I like how in that moment I subconsciously just changed the rules of our show yeah. for really no reason. No benefit, no gain. All right, before we go ahead and rate the burger here today from Houndstooth Saloon, let's do a shout out. Merch out, merch out, merch out. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a merch store. You can see the shirt right here. Uh, we got all types of awesome goodies on there. Probably our best and most well known is our hotter Sixer sauce and our regular Sixer sauce. Mm -hmm. An amazing hot sauce that we made in collaboration with Chef Iron Mike. Really, really, really got to check that out. Uh, anybody who buys anything off our store is going to get a shout out. And then if you buy our Sixer sauce subscription, um, or if you buy more than one item, say the Sixer sauce and a shirt, mm -hmm. then you jump to the front of the line. If you buy our hot sauce subscription, which you can get both uh, bottles of hot sauce or just a singular, um, we shout out very, very front of the front of the line. So here's a couple of shout outs from people who bought recently. Merch shout out number one goes to CJ Abbott. CJ got the bundle, that means the mild and the hot, coming to CJ's door every single month. CJ, thank you. And merch out number two goes to Mr. Gabriel Sanchez. Woo Woo Gabriel got the hotter Sixer sauce. We sent that out to Fort Worth, Texas. So I hope Ooh. you're enjoying that. Uh, hotter Sixer sauce and I, they get the savings. They get 25% off. They do, too, so. yeah. And this may or may not be true. As soon as the sauce crosses into the Texas border, the bottles just get larger. Hey, I've heard it. Mm -hmm. I lied to you. Again, how you let me get away with this? Uh, also, free shipping this week on everything except the hot sauce. Uh, so if you're looking for some threads or some, you know, now's the time. No shipping. Don't pay shipping. Shipping for suckers. All right, Mono Truth. Um, we're gonna go ahead and rate the burger here today. We've had a lot of local burgers in, burgers in Chicago. And now here's another one. Uh, out of five of whatever cartoon dog that Corey wants to put in as the icon, how many of whatever cartoon dog that Corey wants to put in, do you give the Houndstooth Burger 
$10, keeping in mind it comes with a side, but the burger itself in today's review, Corey. Um, the, like you said, the fr the fr fries were fives, yeah, though, obviously. I know. The burger, I thought was delicious. Like I said, simple but delicious. Not the best burger in the city, but damn good, especially for that price. Uh, somewhere a little bit less value than Red Hot Ranch. Yeah. Which is the real yeah, king of yeah, these. Yeah, so good. Um, but still, super high value, particularly if you are in the Wrigleyville area, that is a little zone of Chicago being so close to the baseball diamond that it's gonna have overpriced a lot of things. Uh -huh. So that, I think, like really jumps it up. I think if you're at a baseball game, that is like maybe the best place to go grab some food. I don't oh, know, maybe. that or Lucky Sandwiches or something like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Um, but I'm gonna give that a very, very good 4.3. Um, the price is the best thing about that. Flavor and the location, everything you said is right. I'm gonna base my score specifically on just the burger taste itself with that price. Um, I think that's like a good option, but and I'm trying to think of like other burgers in this area that are that close to Wrigley that would be good, you know? There's like, not anything that good. I haven't had. Living in this neighborhood? Yeah, so maybe that it really is like such a good little stop for yourself. And the fact you know, if you're going to the game, you're gonna spend $12 on beers. Getting a burger and a side for 10 bucks. Even burger for that price, out, like in the city as a whole, yeah. other than Red Hot Ranch, right. what do you find? I know. The region's more expensive than that if mm -hmm. you had Right. Fries. Yeah. Uh, Fasto's more expensive than that if you had fries. Those might be tasting a little bit better, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go 3.5. You can clap, I'm not clapping because I don't respect your score. Really? What do you think is, I'm just like, I'm just getting kind of a 3.5 vibe from that burger. Oh, like. so it's not based off of any information? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It was an average to good local cheeseburger in Chicago. And then price doesn't factor in. Fine. That's just where Fine. I'm at. That's where I'm at. Guys, we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Thank you so much for rocking with us. Thank you so much for watching us argue, and we'll see you very soon. Bye. Bye.